Uh, congratulations to Coach Stoops. Uh, excuse me, Coach Stoops in Kentucky. That was a heck of a football game. I just saw him out in the hallway again. I mean, those two teams out there uh, really, really competing. I'm glad that the, or I hope that the story is about the game and not all the other junk. Um, because two teams eventually just settled down and tried to play football and and played it at a pretty high level. So um, I'm proud of our squad. I'm proud of everything they've accomplished. I mean, we were, I don't know if there's a better term than we were left for dead um, early in the year. And these men battled back. The fact that we didn't come through in this game doesn't, doesn't uh, diminish my pride in them. My excitement for the direction of our program, my belief in what we're going to be, um, we're awfully close on both sides of the ball today. Um, but ultimately, um, you know, one play here or there, either side of the ball, and um, they ended up winning it. So. Question: Raise your hand, and we'll catch as many as we can. Front row. Yeah, Coach, uh, obviously you were aware of it going in, but uh, Lynn Bowden, his running ability, what what made him so effective in, in this matchup? That's what he's done to everybody. I mean, he's a great player. He's competitive, he's tough, strong. He never looks like he's in a hurry out there. You know, he's patient, explosive. I mean, he's a physical player. Um, he's, a, he's a competitor. Fourth and three from their nine-yard line early in the fourth. Did you think about going uh, forward and yep. why did you kick? Just there's so much time left, you know. I don't know what the time of possession was after that. I feel like they had the ball a lot of, most of the time. So, yeah, I thought about it. I felt like there was so much time left in the game that we kicked it. And, and the, they convert that fourth to late whistle with the Tisdale ends up with the ball. Did you think about calling timeout? To the well, I talked to him. I mean, they review all that stuff. Like, guys, like the, the whole take a challenge flag timeout deal in college football, like they're, they're reviewing it. You know, the guy tells me that they reviewed it and it's been confirmed. Don't waste your time out. So, I don't, they said it was. Uh, they stopped his forward progress or whatever it was, but he he said, "Don't even, don't waste it." <clears throat> Third round. You said you're happy about the direction of the team. How are you feeling? How excited are you uh, for where this team's going next year with pretty much everybody returning but Reggie? Well, I you know I think it's important that we we understand that doesn't guarantee us success just because we got people coming back. But I think we should we should uh, we've tasted uh, both sides of it. You know this group with 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 a large number of them coming back and we've tasted uh, the highest of highs and, and, and the lowest of lows and I think that should fuel us moving forward. So I'm excited about our character. You know, we performed really well in the classroom this semester as well. I mean, there's just a lot of good things going on here with uh, a group of kids that care about each other and care about this football program that I'm excited about. What were you aware of in terms of apparently the altercation during the pregame and Deshaun getting punched? Uh, what were you aware of and, and what was the explanation of you know, why there's no penalties there? Well, first of all, the referee's jurisdiction starts an hour before the game. Um, I don't know who got allegedly got or didn't get I don't know anything about that. I know we had a meeting after it. Where they basically said, we're going to look into it. You guys talk to your teams. So I went in and talked to our team about exactly what we expected of them. So as far as the details, I haven't seen any of that stuff. I know the referee's jurisdiction starts an hour before the game. And you mentioned the settling down. It did seem like both teams, after that flurry of penalties, settled in. What did you tell your guys to kind of rein everything in there? Um, so we had two penalties for 30 yards. I didn't have to say anything to, uh, to our guys after the game started. We had two penalties the whole game for 30 yards. Is that correct? Yeah, so I told them before the game what I expected them to do, and they went out there and did it. I mean, they'd, we didn't have an issue in the game. Back row cameras. Coach, you talked about all the players coming back, um, but what 
Culbertson that's not coming back, Bud Foster. What has he meant to this program and your coaching staff? <laughs> What's Bud Foster meant to Virginia Tech? I mean, I wish I was eloquent enough to – people will write books about it. You know what I mean? I, I mean, several hundred-page books. <laughs> I mean, he's just a fantastic football coach. He does a great job of relating, teaching. Um, you know, he and Coach Beamer have uh, – I'm not sure people quite understand, and maybe I don't fully understand the ramifications of how far this school has come. Not solely because of those two people, but um, they had a lot to do with it. And uh, the fact we're in the ACC and uh, some of the things that, ha that have been built and some of the exposure it's given the school, um, you know, is immeasurable on top of the effects he's had on countless people's lives, young men that have come through this program that, that he's mentored and taught and, and been demanding of and, and helped them ultimately be better people. Um, I mean, he's a Hall of Fame football coach, and that doesn't mean that he's um, not because he knows when to blitz, but because he knows how to handle uh, people, and uh, he's passionate about his work, and you know he's the best. Standing to our left, Coach. First of all, sorry for your loss, but I wanted to ask you. On That's that. okay. Nobody passed away. <laughs> <laughs> But I appreciate your sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to ask on that last drive when Kentucky scored toward the end, what were some breakdowns that you saw defensively on your end that led to the Kentucky? Game? Oh, we were straining our tail off. I mean, we had guys from all over the place in the game. You know, we'd been on the field. I don't know what the numbers are, but a large portion of the fourth quarter kind of goes back to the field goal question. We just couldn't get off the field. And... Um, you know, I mean, it wasn't like they were ripping off big chunk yardage plays. I mean, it was just, and we're in a situation of using timeouts, not using timeouts, but the ball never got really down there very close. I mean, uh, it's just kind of a, you know, it's a, in terms of clock management and what we're trying to accomplish, like you're in no man's land the whole the whole drive. Um, but, um, you know, I don't, there wasn't an individual thing. I mean, they executed a little better and, and continued to kind of just inch the ball down the field. Armani uh, played, played pretty much the whole game, and then Armani. How tough was that of a situation for them? I mean, because with Bowden, you know, could throw at the last second, they were kind of having to play in between a lot. How tough was that for them? They haven't had tons of reps. I mean, Chapman had more, but Breon, that was first his extended first kind of deal this whole season. Yeah, I mean, I was I was proud of the way they responded and stepped up and played. Obviously, it's a little bit different type of game. Um, but they were prepared and, and ready to go. And um, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're pretty good at times and obviously have, have some things to work on. And what were the starting points at center? You know, those two freshman linemen are just, they're at the end of the year. You know, first of all, Brian has a broken rat thumb and it's been broken for a while. We've been, you know, he'd been trying to handle snaps. His ankle's been banged up. They just, they're not injured and out. They could play, but they just, you know, they're true freshman guys that were at the end of the end of the year, and those things kind of took a toll on. You mentioned no man's land in the end. Was it similar <coughs> at the end of the first half? And you know, what was sort of your, your plan in terms of you know, when to sort of accelerate things? Because it mean, kind of seemed like out of nowhere. Then across, you're across the fifty. And, yeah, I mean, you get in that situation where you don't you don't want them to get the ball back. You run the ball and pop one out of there, and then you get a chance to kind of kind of maneuver down there. But they've got timeouts too. Our defense has played a lot. I'm not interested in them having to take the field again. And so that's the primary objective. If you have a chance to go be aggressive, then then that's then that's the then that's good. You got to pop one out of there first. <laughs> What's your take on, on Bowden after actually going against him as opposed to seeing him on film? Same, same as I thought coming into this game. I mean, first of all, he played in the game. Um, I knew he was going to go back there and return some punts and kickoffs. Like, I don't know the young man, but my impression of him is he's a, a great competitor. Obviously, he's talented. Obviously, he has skill, all those sorts of things. But, um, you know, there was no place to hide out there in that game today. It was a, it was a real football game. And 
and he's a competitor. Justin Bud told us earlier this month that he was going to maybe smell the roses a little bit for this last one. He hadn't really done that because everything was so results oriented. Um, did you notice that at all this week that, that he was taking a pause to appreciate uh, his last game? Oh, I mean, I didn't notice anything particular. You know, bowl games are always different anyway. I guess if it had been our last game that was a normal prep week, I probably would have. But you, pardon me, you get a little bit of free time there in the in the bowl game, and I think he enjoyed relaxing a little bit leading up to the game. 